Hi, my name is Elijah Palmer, Deputy Director of Education at the Hampton Roads Naval Museum. Today I'm at All Saints Catholic Cemetery in Portsmouth, Virginia, at the graveside of Joseph Mitchell, Medal of Honor recipient from the Boxer Rebellion. In May 1900, 24-year-old Joseph Mitchell was serving as a gunner's mate first class aboard USS Newark, a protected cruiser operating on the Asiatic Station. In late May, the cruiser landed a force of 50 Marines and five sailors in China to reinforce the foreign legations in Peking, now called Beijing. They were in danger as an anti-foreign movement, nicknamed the Boxers, was gaining power in the country. The Boxers were largely peasants from rural areas and recruited followers with demonstrations of invincibility to bullets and an anti-Christian message. From June 20th to August 14th, 1900, Chinese forces besieged foreign diplomats, missionaries, Chinese Christians, and military personnel near the heart of Peking. A large international force made up of troops from the United States, Japan, and half a dozen European countries would eventually break the siege on August 14th. Joseph Mitchell was part of the defending force near the Imperial Palace during the siege. As a gunner's mate, Mitchell was put in charge of the 1895 Colt machine gun brought off USS Newark. While the fighting during the siege ebbed and flowed, one event showed Mitchell's bravery and skill. On June 24th, Mitchell held back a large Chinese force with his machine gun, an action that was crucial in covering a withdrawal of the Marines. Under heavy enemy fire, including a close miss by a piece of shrapnel, he was able to get the gun back to safety after providing cover for his shipmates. Additionally, during fighting on July 12th, Mitchell climbed onto one of the Chinese barriers opposing the American legation and captured a large black Chinese flag, struggling with a Chinese soldier before resting it free, all while under fire. In an after-action report, a Marine officer explicitly stated that the flag capture was worthy of a separate report in itself. Evidently, his account was persuasive, as Mitchell received the Medal of Honor for his meritorious conduct on July 12th. Perhaps even more famous were Mitchell's actions in regard to what became known as the International Gun. In the early days of unrest, some Russian soldiers who came to Peking had brought ammunition for large cannon, but not the actual guns they belonged to. So the defender's heaviest artillery was a small one-pound gun. In early July, Mitchell channeled his ingenuity as a gunner's mate to cobble together a working cannon from parts contributed by various nationalities. He also took apart the Russian shells to make workable ammunition for the gun. With an old British cannon barrel they found, an Italian carriage, Russian rounds, and an American gunner, the cannon quickly earned the nickname the International Gun. The defenders used this cannon to great effect during the siege, with Mitchell in command of the gun. The gunner's mate was wounded in the arm during heavy fighting on August 14th, the day that the International Relief Force arrived in Peking. Mitchell was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions during the siege, and later gained his commission. He retired from the Navy as a lieutenant and died in 1925 at the age of 48. Joseph Mitchell's story and final resting place are yet another example of Hampton Roads' rich naval history with connections around the world. I'm Elijah Palmer with the Hampton Roads Naval Museum. Thank you for watching.